In the movies, stunt doubles and special effects make all those action scenes look so real, but they're of little use at the theater. On the stage, the actors must make you believe what you're seeing is real. Monica Schneider tells us that that is a skill you really gotta practice. just did again this is the before of the after you just saw the pre-fight if you will st george for england again very very slow motion it's and brian latronic is the stage combat know. choreographer and, uh, his job to teach the actors to wield a sword or throw a punch in a make-believe way that looks real patience is a huge virtue being able to uh communicate to act to actors who have never done this in their lives, who have no idea what they're doing, to, to assuage any fears or, or concerns they have, to make them feel comfortable with, with you know, going full out and looking like trying to kill this other person. Now, while fights have been a part of theatrical works forever, having a specialist choreograph them is more recent. In the last about 10 years or so, it's really started to come into its own as, as an art form, as opposed to just something that we need for this play. For Christopher Taylor, the actor who plays Lancaster in the current Chicago production of Edward II, having each fight movement pre-planned is a definite plus, though it can also be awkward. Sometimes it really feels staged and, and it doesn't necessarily feel real, but, uh, but the end all product is, is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, it, uh, you know, it's like a dance. <laughs> The audience just steps back and says, yeah, that was a good fight. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't get hurt. Unfortunately, though, sometimes even with all the rehearsal, actors do get hurt. But overall, the purpose of stage combat choreography is also to try and keep those pretend fights safe. As a choreographer, you try to plan for every single eventuality so that there is as small a risk as possible for the actors. Especially important in the case of Edward II, where real steel swords are involved. As for who wins in this round of Edward and Company versus the Nobleman? <laughs> Come and see the show. <laughs> Monica Schneider, CLTV News.